Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the ATI T Study Manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 169. And we are on page number 99. Page number 99 or oh, and the day 169. And we are in the process of solving the problem that appeared in the third test, the quiz that, that starts on page 99. If you're interested, if you're interested in getting some more practice, if you're interested in solving the problem that appeared in the first two practice exams, which appeared in the fifth edition, you will find the solutions to all the problems that appeared in the test number one from day number 61 through 70. And the test number two, you will find the solutions from day 71 to 80. As a matter of fact, you will find solutions to all the math problems that appeared in the fifth edition that I'm holding in my hand here uh, on my channel from day number one through 80. Let's get going. Question number seven is what we're going to do here, question seven and eight. And the question says here that we have a truck driver. It's important that you have the book in front of you. You must have the book in front of you so that you are able to read the problem yourself, even though I described as best as I can, but you have to have the book in front of you. So we have a truck driver who we are told is in the process of driving, making a trip, uh, a trip that is, that is going to be 1,346 miles long. We are told further that he has already driven 125 miles. He has driven 125 miles so far. The question simply is, how far before he reaches a half day mark? How far before he reaches half a mark in his trip? So the first thing we need to figure out is, what is the half of this amount? 1,346 1, miles that he needs to drive. What is half of that? What is the half a mark in his trip? Let's find that out, shall we? We're going to divide that by two because we want to find the half of that. So let's get going. How many twos does one have? One has no twos. One has no twos. What happens to that one? That one goes and joins the three and becomes a 13. 13 has six twos. Six twos are 12. After we take away the 12 from the 13, we have a remainder of one. What happens to that one? That one is going to go and join the four and becomes a 14. And 14 we know has seven twos. How many twos does six have? Six has three twos. Since we just divided the top by two, we must divide the bottom by two, which was the whole idea to get rid of this two. And if you had trouble following this thing the way I did it here, you can do it the long way, the babyish way if you like, the long way, and you will see that you will get the same answer. We're going to divide it by 2. No, that's not what we have. That's not what we have. We are dividing 1346, 1346, and we are dividing that by 2. And you will see the same process. So let's get going. How many 2's does this 1 have? How many 2's does 1 have? 1 has no 2's. What happens to that 1? That 1 goes and joins the 3 and becomes a 13. This one goes and joins the 3 and becomes a 13. And 13 has 6 twos. 6 twos are 12. I'm going to erase this part so you don't get confused. After we take away the 12, after we take away the 12 from the 13, we have a remainder of 1. After we take away the 12 from the 13, we have a remainder of 1. What happens to that one? That one goes and joins the 4. That one goes and joins the 4 and becomes a 14. And 14 we know has 7 twos. How many twos does three have? How many, how many twos does six have? Six has three. Three twos. Voila. So 600 and 673 uh, marks the halfway point in his journey, of which he has already traveled, we are told, 125 miles. 125 miles are already traveled. So all we, did, all we need to do is take the total number of miles that he has to travel, which is 1,346 and take away the number of miles that he has already traveled. He has already, tra he has already, he has already driven 125 miles. So let's just take that away. 6 minus 5 is 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. Oh, 1221. That is not what I have. What the hell am I doing wrong? This is wrong. This is the wrong answer. I, and I bet you, I bet you this is probably one of the answer choices. For those people who are not paying any attention, it is one of the answer choices. For those people who are not paying attention, we don't, we do not take away 125 from the total number of miles that we have to drive. We need to take away 125 from the halfway mark, because the question was, how many miles do I need to drive before I reach my halfway mark? Halfway mark 
half pay mark is at 673. Half pay mark is 673. This is where I need to go. Perhaps that's where my, my rest stop is. I need to get to my half pay mark, of which I have already traveled 125 miles. Earlier work was wrong. It always pays to concentrate, to pay attention. Do you understand? I made a boo-boo. So let's get going, shall we? We cannot subtract 5 from the 3, so we need to borrow 1 from the 7. If we're going to borrow 1 from the 7, 7 becomes a 6, and 3 becomes a 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. 6 minus 2 is 4. And 6 minus 1, 6 minus 1 is 5. It looks like we need to go, he needs to travel another 548 miles before he's going to reach his halfway mark. Almost 550 miles he needs to go before he reaches his halfway mark. So if he's traveling at the speed of about 55 miles an hour, he's got about 10 hours worth of drive in, in front of him at the average speed of 55 miles an hour. Long ways before he gets a break. Okay, let's do number eight. Let's do number eight. In number eight, it's a very long question. I'm gonna read to you verbatim. It says, a student is shopping for a new smarty. Oh hell, I'm not going to read the whole thing, it's too much. We are shopping for something, we are shopping for something, and we are comparing four merchants. We are comparing four merchants. So here, here are the merchants, four merchants, four merchants, four vendors, four websites, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter, there are four of them. Let's call them A, B, C, and D. I don't know if the book actually calls them A, B, C, or D or not. No, they do not give them name, but we're going to christen them. We're going to christen these four merchants. We're going to christen them. I hope I spelled it correctly. What does it mean to christen? So what christen has two meanings. One meaning is the literal meaning, which you already probably know, which means to baptize, obviously. That's the literal meaning. Metaphorically, it also means to name something, to name something or someone. I'm looking here in the vocabulary list here to see when we learned the word because I do know, I do know that we learned it, christen. Which day? Bloody hell, I cannot find it. I cannot find it. I hope I spelled it correctly. Anyway, let's, let's not waste time here. I can't find it. So let's christen these merchants, let's christen these vendors, let's give them names so we can talk about them. A, B, C, D. Merchant A, we are told, is advertising the unit, whatever it is that we want to buy, he's advertising it as $620, $612, whatever it is that we are buying here. And he says that we are buying, student is shopping for a Smarty 360 PC laptop, I don't know what the hell that means, but whatever it is, uh, that, that item. Smarty PC 360. What the, what the bloody hell do you think it is? I have no idea. I haven't the foggiest. And this merchant is advertising it as a retail price of 612, but he has a sale going on, and the sale says that if you buy it right now, he's going to give you 20% off. So that's merchant A. Merchant B is advertising it as $525. $525 minus minus. $17 markdown. He has a promotion where if you buy it right now, it's going to give you $17 rebate, a markdown. Merchant C, we are told, Merchant C, we are told, is $570 minus 15%. And since we do not have the room for Merchant D right now, we'll worry about Merchant D at the end. The question simply is, where should I buy my computer from? Where should I buy this Smarty 360, whatever the bloody hell that is? Uh, well, the only criteria that this person is going to use, and that English is wrong. That was improper English. I'm digressing one more time. We're digressing big time here. You can speak like that all the time. What I said, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to say it one more time. The only criteria that he's going to use is the price. Well, that is a wrong sentence. It's not grammatically correct because criteria is a plural. You cannot go around saying the only apples I'm going to eat. Criteria is plural. The singular of criteria is criterion. Now I'm 
Well, there we go. It, it just popped up right in front of me. Vocab day 66. Just type in vocabulary words day 66 and you will learn this word. Oh, and Christian is day 63. Day 63. If you're interested in improving your vocabulary, just type in vocabulary day 63. We will learn the word Christian along with some other in interesting word. And day 66 is where we learn how to use criterion and criteria. It annoys the hell out of me when I hear people say that's the only criteria we used. Well, if it's the only bloody thing that you use, then it's a criterion, not a criteria. So in this case, the only criterion that he's using is the price. That's it. He's not worried about merchant's reputation or anything else or warranties or anything else. He's just comparing based on the price. That's the only criterion we are using. And whichever one happens to be the cheapest one, that's where we're going to buy it from. So let's figure out where, where the product is going for the lowest possible price. Let's start with this guy. $604 minus 20%. But we know 10%, 10% of 612, we just have to move the decimal. Move the decimal, decimal is right here. Decimal is right now here. It's 100%, 10% is gonna be right here. 10% of, 10 of 612 is just gonna be 6120. Well, we're getting 20% off, that 10% off, so the other 10%, the other 10% is going to be on the 6120. On the 6120, uh, I'm going to forget the cents right now, it's just 1 plus 1 is 2, and uh, 6 plus 2 is 12. $122. Forget the 40 cents, it's not going to play any role, do you understand? So, if you take away $122 from 612, 612, take away $122, which represents the approximate 20%, not the exact 20%, because the exact 20% is 40 cents more. So it's, it's, it's good enough. 2 minus 2 is 0. Don't waste your time unnecessarily. 2 minus 2 is 0. 11, you're going to borrow the 1. 6 is going to become 5. 11 minus 2 is 9. And 5 minus 1 is 4. So this is $490. Merchant A is willing to give it to us for $490. let us look at B. We need the room, obviously, so I'm going to raise all of this thing. Just keep in mind that the merchant A comes out of B. $490. Let's find out what this guy is. This guy is very simple. It's just 5, 525 minus 17. 525 minus 17. Let's do it all together. We need to borrow 1. So 2 is going to become 1. And 15 minus 7 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. And a 5. $508. Well, if he's willing to give us for $508, and this guy is going to give us for $490, he's already out of the running. He is already out of the contest. He is already out of the running. B is not the answer. Okay, let's move on to C. Let's move on to C. B, B, B doesn't work. Let's make a note here that we crossed out B. B is out of the contest. C is minus 15%. So let's do it out here. C is minus 15%. So there is C. $570 minus 15%. Again, same exact logic as before. 10% we know. 10% of, of 570 is just going to be 57. If 10% is 57, 5% is going to be, 5% of 570 is going to be half of 57. Let's do it here. 5, half of 57. How many five, How many twos does 5 have? 5 has two twos. 5 has two twos. Two twos are 4. After we take away 4 from the 5, we have a remainder of 1. What happens to the remainder of 1? That 1 goes and joins this guy, becomes a 17. And 17 has 8, 8 twos. 8 twos are 16. So it's going to be 28 and a half. 28 and a half, we're just going to pretend it's 28. Okay, it's supposed to be 28 and a half. We're, going to, we're not going to worry about 50 cents. Because the cents are not going to much much difference. So it's basically 570. Well, we should have added up these two numbers here. Let's, do, let's, let, let's add them up here. 5, 7 plus 8 is 5, 7, 7 plus 8 is 15, that's 5, carry 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, so we're going to subtract $85 from it, $85 from it, we need to borrow 1 so that we can, we can subtract 5, from, we cannot subtract 5 from the 0, so 7 becomes 6 when we want to borrow 1, so 10 minus 5 is 5, we cannot borrow uh, we cannot subtract 8 from the 6, so we're going to borrow 1 from the 5. Four, 5 is going to become 4, and 6 becomes 16. 16 minus 8 is 8, and this 4 just comes down. 485. Oh, 485. So now C is the winner. A drops out because A, A was 490. A is not the guy. He's 490. 
Hey, it's not the guy. So far, so far, it is Mr. C who is standing in the ring. A has been knocked out and B has been knocked out. Now let's look at D. So the contest now is between C and D. If D comes out, if D turns out to be less than 485, then the answer is going to be D. If D turns out to be more than 485, then we're going to buy it from C. Let's do it here. D says, oh, what does D say? I did not read the question, whole question properly. It says, Side D offers a laptop for $500 and advertises, we never, we never have sales because our prices are always the lowest of oh, bullcrap. That's an absolute bullcrap. That's not, he's lying. How? He's not price always the lowest. We just found a guy who's willing to give us a phone of 485. This is false advertisement. This is false advertisement. He's claiming that we never put anything on sales because whatever price that we advertise, our regular price, are always, you will find, are going to be the lowest price that anybody, that, that you will find anywhere. We just found out that it's not the case. This guy is willing to give it to us for 485. So what is the question asking? Is the question asked, so how are we, perhaps we not, the answer choices are not A, B, and A, B, C, and D. I thought they just wanted us to pick a merchant. That's not the that's not the case, obviously, because obviously that's not the case because they did not give any these merchants any names. So let's look at answer choice A. It says we should buy from A because twenty percent off is loaded. No, no, we're looking for the correct answer is C. Correct answer is C, which is we should buy. By correct answer is correct answer is C. Because it's, it's the 485. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.